Precessional slippage, also called the precession of the equinox, is a phenomenon in astronomy caused by the gradual wobbling of the Earth's axis. The orientation of the Earth's axis looking northward from the Earth roughly points to the star Polaris. Due to this wobbling phenomenon, the Earth's axis will eventually point towards a different star. In the context of the Bible, this shift is referred to as a new heaven, symbolizing the change in the celestial pole and its association with acquiring a new north star. But this isn't all. The zodiac constellation we align with each season undergo shifts and slippage over time. For example, during the era of the Biblical Fathers, and also at the time of the height of Egypt's power, at the time of the spring equinox, Taurus the bull was aligning with that specific cardinal point. That's why bulls were sacred to some cultures, sacrificed by others, and made into idols by others. It was their way of honoring that age or that position of the earth. Later, during the times of Abraham and Moses, the sun was visibly positioned in Aries the ram. Recall the Bible story about Abraham looking up and seeing the sacrificial lamb and Moses' introduction of lamb sacrifices and his rejection of the Egyptian-style cow idol. These tales symbolize representations of the shifting cosmic ages or Earth's orientation. The Bible refers to this cosmic shift as a new Earth, echoing the prophecy of new heaven and a new Earth. Moreover, when Jesus arrived a couple of thousand years ago, the sun's position during the spring equinox was transitioning from the sacrificial lamb of Aries to Pisces, symbolized by the fish. Thus he declared, I will make you fishers of men. Today we see the shift moving from Pisces to Aquarius, symbolized as the water bearer. Nevertheless, some confusion persists. Disagreements over zodiac signs and their placements endure. There's a growing trend of increased interest in celestial alignments particularly solar and lunar eclipses. People discuss the meanings associated with the positions of these events, and debate ensues. One person might assert, that eclipse happened in Libra, while another counters, no, it took place in Virgo. See, look. The discrepancy arises from one group considering the visible appearance and the other group calculating based on the position of the cross or the four cardinal points of their orientations. Even among astrologers, there's a lack of consensus on the signs they assign. Take, for example, someone born in early April. Western astrologers would designate them as Aries because the sun was within 30 degrees of the spring equinox, and they staunchly adhere to this cardinal point for their calculations, maintaining its consistency in relation to the sun's strength and the length of the day. They call this approach the tropical zodiac. On the other hand, Vedic astrologers opt for a method akin to what common folks do. They continuously adjust their calculations to align with the shifting signs in the sky. This approach is referred to as sidereal astrology. And for example, they would assign someone who was born in early April as a Pisces, not an Aries. The purpose of this video is not to proclaim one method as superior to the other or to declare one as incorrect. Instead, it's aimed at shedding light on the different ways people interpret this complex science. We hope that this discussion has provided some clarity amidst the confusions surrounding the topic. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, and we'd be happy to create more content on this subject.